I bought this nail gun compressor combination kit about six years ago. The nail gun is still working great. The compressor's got a leaky valve and it's just easier and less expensive to buy a new combination kit. This time I bought a Porta cable. It came with a 16 gauge nail gun, an 18 gauge nail gun, and a stapler. So let's open it up and check it out. So here's the 18 gauge nail gun, and it's got the connection on it, so that's nice, and that's going to fit right onto my Flexilla hose, so that's convenient. They send you a few nails, actually just one ream, that's kind of funny, but it's better than nothing. It's inch, there are inch and a quarter nails, which is probably the most common nail that I use in the 18 gauge nail gun. So just go ahead and throw those nails right in there. So this has got to be the 16 gauge nail gun. Again, it's got the connection for the air hose, so that's nice and convenient. Looks like they sent us a few nails for this gun too. This nail gun is going to use 16 gauge, one inch to two and a half inch long nails. And you basically just open up the magazine like that and you're all set. This is the pneumatic stapler, and I'm pretty excited about this because I don't like using a staple gun, especially stretching a canvas. It gets to be a real workout on your hand and your wrist. So I'm excited to see how this works. Again, it's all set up for my compressor hose, so that's real convenient. And we'll see if it came up with any staples. Looks like it did, yeah, so one ream of staples. These look like they're 3 8 Yep. And this staple gun will work with quarter inch to nine sixteenths. To load the stapler, it looks like we'll press this in, push it out, and then pull that back and drop the staplers in. Okay, so now I've got all the guns out and they're ready to go. And now I'll plug the compressor in. And I'm not going to adjust the volume so you can get an idea of how loud it is. I expect it to be loud, most compressors are. I just realized you're going to have to close that valve. The valve that I closed is used to drain water out of the tank and now I'm setting the air pressure at just about 95 pounds and that's generally what I run the, the nail guns at. One nice feature about this compressor is it's set up to run two hoses right out of the box. So that's pretty nice. So let's go ahead and test this thing out. I've got a piece of treated wood, treated lumber, and this is a piece of poplar. That looks pretty good. Now you can adjust the nail set right here. So I'm going to maybe wind that a little bit this way, see what happens. Maybe a little more. Here's a piece of white oak just to see what happens. Looks pretty good. I'll just pull the nail out so we can see how it went in. Okay, and that worked out pretty good. Pretty much like I expected. Now we'll check out the 18 gauge. Okay, so that's not quite sinking the nail. So here's the adjustment for the nail set.
I've got the nail set fully adjusted. It won't go any further, so let's test it out on the white oak. And it is sinking the nail. Not, not by a lot, but it is sinking it. Just because I'm curious, I'm going to put inch and a quarter nails in my Bostitch and see how that works. Same nail adjustment or same nail set adjustment. And this one's as far as, uh, I can go a little further with this one. Seems like the Bostitch is setting the nails a little deeper than the Porta Cable. I'm going to take this little rubber bumper off and see if that makes a difference. Yeah, now it seems like they're setting the nails the same depth. So these were the nails from the Porta Cable with the rubber bumper. These were the nails from the Bostitch. And these were the nails from the Porta Cable with the rubber bumper removed. I would say the Porta Cable and the Bostitch work almost exactly the same. Once I removed that little rubber bumper, the guns actually look identical. I mean, they look, we'll take a closer look at them, but they almost look like they're exactly made at the same place. So uh, I'll probably just use both of them. I don't know what I'll do. Uh, but anyway, or maybe I'll just keep using the Bostage and I'll save the port of cable until the Bostage breaks. So the next is the stapler. And this is the, the tool that I'm really looking forward to checking out. It has the 3 8 staples in it. And I'm just going to go and staple it to the treated 2x4. This one has a little safety here. The safety's here, so you hit it with your middle finger and use your index finger to fire the staple. That's pretty nice. Figure we'll give it a test on oak. And let's throw in some half inch staples and see how that does. Okay, so pretty much as expected, all the nail guns worked great. This is the 16 gauge, and this shoots nails from one inch to two and a half inches. And this is a great tool for interior and exterior trim, like window and door casing, baseboard moldings, crown moldings, and things like that. This is the 18 gauge nail gun. It shoots nails from five eighths of an inch to two inches. And this is the nail gun that I use most in the shop here. And I'm actually going to continue to use my Bostage because it's still working great. And I'll just save this one until the Bostage gives up on me one day. What I'm really excited about is this pneumatic stapler. I stretch a lot of canvas. And if you've ever used a staple gun for a long amount of time, you know it's a major workout on your wrist and your hand. And I was really impressed with the way this worked. And if it continues to work the way it just did, it's going to be a big time saver and just be a, a very valuable tool. So I'm actually excited to use this tool in an upcoming video where I'll make a stretcher and show you how to stretch a canvas. So that should be, uh, that should be a good video coming up in a few days. Uh, so anyway, that's all for now. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.